The history of the Geely Atlas deserves a brief retelling, but it is a representative of the third generation of Geely cars that entered the Chinese market at the turn of 2014 to 2015. Peter Horier was responsible for the design of the crossover, and an international team of highly qualified specialists was responsible for the filling, which included mechanics, suspension specialists, and other engineers recruited literally all over the world. The model turned out to be not just successful, but truly a hit. In its native China, queues literally lined up for it, and approximately 300,000 copies of such crossovers were sold each year. To consolidate its success, the car was periodically updated. And in 2019, Geely designers awarded the most serious modernization, they were not too lazy to completely reshape the front part of the body, from that moment on, the radiator grille became larger, the hood was more prominent, and the headlights were filled with LEDs in all trim levels, including the base one, the rear lights acquired a fashionable three-dimensional pattern and changed. Even the opening of the fifth door was redrawn to lower the loading height, however, this version of the Geely Atlas reached us only in the summer of 2021 and at first exclusively in a hybrid modification. The interior has also changed, because the front panel and center console have been redrawn, and the instrument display, on the contrary, has increased in diagonal. By the way, the standard media system is devoid of navigation, but it can be displayed on the screen from a smartphone, however, our craftsmen have learned to reflash the head unit by introducing a navigator in Russia. They decided to sell the updated version under the name Atlas Pro. The first edition came from China, but in general Atlas has come to the Russian market mainly from Belarus, where large unit assembly has been established at the Belgi plant. So the quality of welding, painting and assembly is the responsibility of our Western neighbors, but they have nothing to blush about, even the copies of the first years of production look quite decent. Although there were mistakes too. So, in the first atlases, plastic linings wiped the paintwork literally down to the metal. The problem was solved by changing the technology for installing the body kit parts. Another problem with early copies of the model was that the rear windows were not sealed, and as a result, rainwater accumulated under the trunk floor in the spare tire niche, and in addition, the seat cushions could sit under particularly large drivers. But in general, both the body and the interior turned out to be very well made, in the interior, the first signs of aging appear only after driving for 200,000 kilometers, and only one miscalculation seriously tarnished the model's reputation. In 2021, 19,000 atlases had to be sent for service. Let us quote the service bulletin, on some atlas cars, at extremely low ambient temperatures below minus 35 degrees Celsius, the seal of the fuel supply pipe and the fuel return pipe may be damaged. All cars were then equipped with new type fuel pumps, modified lines, and the wire fastenings were also changed, which removes static electricity, friends. By the way, the removed parts were honestly disposed of, however, service companies now won't surprise anyone, other cars only manage to respond to manufacturer reviews. Now let's go over the engines. All four engines available for the Atlas are developed by Geely. Although the Chinese aspirated cars are very reminiscent of Toyotas in their architecture, and you will agree that these are very worthy examples to follow. Both fours came out to match the progenitor, very resourceful and almost problem-free, but let's not immediately say that the younger modification had a cracked cylinder head at high mileage, and the camshaft beds of the older one wore out, both weaknesses have long been eliminated, so you can buy a naturally aspirated crossover without any fears the timing drive of both internal combustion engines uses a very high-quality chain, it can easily take care of up to 150,000 km. Although the manufacturer played it safe and recommends updating the drive after 100,000. In 2019, the range of versions was supplemented by a fresh 1.8-liter turbo engine. This engine, also developed by Geely engineers, received direct fuel injection, a timing chain drive and phase shifters on both shafts. In its genes, motorists see Volkswagen origin. Although the Chinese side assures that all coincidences are coincidental, the supercharged new product is still collecting rave reviews, and experts predict a 300,000 mileage before major repairs. The Bosch fuel system and the turbine also have a minimum of questions, however, those who like to rev the engine right up to the cutoff should know that at high speeds the engine quite willingly eats up oil, nothing criminal, but it is important to monitor the level of lubrication between replacements. And the latest motor novelty is a three-cylinder 1.5 liter engine with a capacity of 177 horsepower, and this unit uses a timing belt drive which is easily enough for 100,000 mileage. The engine is reliable, but like all its modern counterparts, the menu must include fresh oil and high-quality gasoline, 
plus the presence of direct injection means that sooner or later the valves will require cleaning. But this is still to come, but in the meantime, Russian owners of new atlases and cool rays are killing engines out of their own stupidity, barely leaving the Geely showroom, many owners immediately went to reflash this Turbo 3, the result is a bomb, because the car becomes much more responsive and cheerful, it's just this time bomb on stitched copies with very scanty mileage. It can easily break the connecting rods with all the ensuing consequences. By the way, cunning tuning enthusiasts have learned to deceive the Sevaman. As soon as the engine fails, they roll the factory firmware onto it. We didn't touch anything, we don't know anything. As for the hybrid version, we will discuss it very briefly, too little time has passed to evaluate the reliability of the electric add-on. Although some points can be predicted in advance, we have a purely gasoline version, but nevertheless we will talk about the resource of the hybrid since the electric motor that plays the role of the generator starter is driven by a belt and its resource is about 100,000 km, a small rechargeable battery with a capacity of slightly less than 0.5 kW, ours should last about 10 years. Only the 7-speed selective robot raises concerns. The example of Volkswagen, which once stumbled, undermined trust in all selective robots for a long time. Although the unit is much more progressive than the German DSG, it surprisingly changes gears softly, smoothly, that is, almost imperceptibly. And most importantly, it is praised by servicemen, and there is a simple and logical explanation for this, the most experienced engineers from Geely Volvo and look at a hand in creating this transmission, by the way, it is Onion that is the supplier of the clutch unit. It is interesting that the creators of the transmission decided to use electric oil pumps and actuators, this should reduce losses and increase the resource, on average, the service life of a robotic 7-speed gearbox is about 200,000, but only if two conditions are met, the most careful driving and regular oil service, it is important to change the transmission every 40,000. We usually devote very little time to manual transmissions because, as a rule, they do not cause problems. However, in 2019, Owners of almost new or completely new atlases suddenly began to complain about strange rattling noises from the clutch at idle, while the car continued to drive normally, and the extraneous noises did not become louder. A limited batch of cars were not exactly defective. But let's just say that the two mass instruments were not entirely successful, however, those with particularly sensitive hearing had them replaced under warranty without any questions. Also, the Chinese brand was initially let down by the supplier of the release bearing, which here simultaneously plays the role of the clutch slave cylinder, it could happen that the unit began to waste brake fluid after just a thousand or more kilometers, the mileage of the release bearing turned out to be by no means a record, well, about 50 to 60,000 mileage. However, then it was increased approximately doubled, however, all this information is more of an optional nature, with mechanics, only 2-liter crossovers were sold and such cars were not sold in the largest circulation. So the vast majority of atlases, this is approximately 90%, are equipped with a six-range automatic transmission of the exotic DSI brand. Simply by looking for a suitable automatic transmission, Geely decided to do the most radical thing, namely to buy the Australian company Drive Train System International. Initially, DSI was an Australian division and first debuted on the Sangyong New Acteon. The gearbox spoiled a lot of blood for the Korean owners, but it was constantly improved and by the time the DSI company was acquired by the Geely concern, the guys from the country of Kangaroo had a very passable mechanism, its first autopsy would most likely take place at a mileage of 150 up to 200,000 kilometers and this is a good result for a modern automatic machine. In order to delay repairs as much as possible, you just need to change the oil regularly, specifically every 60. 1,000 kilometers, but for residents of Megapolis it is better to carry out this procedure even a little more often and of course we recommend checking the freshness of the firmware of the control unit than it the newer the smoother the faster and more logical the shifts will be, the most unsuccessful is considered to be the software on crossovers from the end of 2020 to the beginning of 21, it was even nicknamed the kangaroo for the two jerky gear change, but let's repeat with the latest. Software the automatic machine behaves quite decently, early atlases had such a problem. Like strong vibrations at idle, and many were sure that the cause of this shaking was precisely the six-speed creation of Australian transmission engineers, but no, it turned out to be in the engine mounts, if the shaking appears at speeds from 40 to 70 km per hour, it is not the engine mount that is to blame, but the front axle shafts. While replacing drives under warranty with new ones did not help everyone and not always, but over time the Chinese brand changed the supplier of drives. Another problem that bothered the owners has become less, our single-drive copy allows us to talk about the 4x4 transmission only in theory, meanwhile, there should be a clutch from the famous company Borg Warner, by the way, 
most competitors use other clutches, the unit itself is quite strong, the angular gearbox needs additional care every 50 to 60,000 we advise you not only to update the transmission, but in addition, open the assembly to clean and lubricate the splines. A look from below allows you to make sure that the Chinese have finally stopped making suspension arms from bamboo sticks, in any case, the rear multi-link and McPherson struts in the front look very solid and indeed the front suspension with the rest of the arm turned out to be quite unpretentious, its shock absorbers usually require replacement after 100,000 km, surprisingly not the stabilizer mounts also withstand less mileage. Unfortunately, a similar mileage is often determined by the wheel bearing, fortunately, the bearing is replaced separately, together with the hub, and therefore it is relatively inexpensive, the second suspension wave rolls in after about 150,000 mileage, the ball joints wear out first on the front arms, and then the silent blocks of the rear multi-links fail in an organized manner. Get into the habit of regularly lubricating the rear camber bolts from our road brine, the hardware turns sour literally after 20 to 30,000 mileage, the restyled Atlas Pro turned out to be the first Geely model in which engineers from the famous British brand Lotus had a hand, they adjusted the shock absorbers, silent blocks, and springs. So the updated crossover rides as assembled as its pre-reform predecessor energy efficiency is also good. Note that all crossovers are equipped with electric power steering and, again, immediately after the debut of the model, Russian owners began to receive complaints about strange knocking noises. To restore silence, dealers just tightened the bolts on the steering shaft driva shafts. This can be done even on your own, since there are detailed video instructions on the internet. This is what the modern Chinese auto industry is like. Yes, with its own nuances, but overall reliable, and this is surprising because China has excellent roads, which means it doesn't seem necessary to make a reliable suspension. In addition, people there change cars quite often, which means resource units are a secondary matter. However, the Geely Atlas is doing well with the suspension and with a resource.